Hi guys. Okay, today we are going to be discussing 10 beauty products that I am getting rid of. Now, these are all for different reasons. I will tell you the reasons when we get to the products, but let me know what you guys think of this video. Do you guys enjoy it? If so, definitely leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I post new videos three times a week, but let's just jump right into it. Now, first off, please don't comment on my video asking for the makeup. That is just not something I do. The makeup I get rid of goes to friends and family. I will not send used makeup to people, I am sorry. But let's just jump right into it. Okay, the first product is a brand new item I have never used. This is the Tarte Tartiste Pro Glow 3 Cheek Palette. I'm getting rid of this because I have the Pro Glow Palette the pro glow 2 palette from tarte and i like those colors better than this one these ones are just colors i will not use this is what it looks like and those are just not colors i reach for so we are just going to get rid of it this product since it is brand new will go into a future giveaway for one of you guys but that is the first product, and then the next one is by Pure, and it's another face palette. This is the Pure Bronze and Brighten. Open it up, it's got a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush, all shimmery, and then it's got a mirror. Now, these are super, super pigmented. I do like this palette, I just don't reach for it enough, and if I do reach for it, it's the uh, highlighter shade, and that is it. I don't use anything else in this palette. And I don't think it's worth it to keep it just for this, just for the highlighter when I have plenty of other highlighters. Someone else will get use out of this, just not for me. The next one is another face palette by Pure. This is the Pure Sculptor palette. Um, this one has four shades, two bronzers, two highlights. As you can see, the highlight is broken. This highlight was the only highlight I could use out of the palette, but now that it is half broken, it is just not worth it for me to keep. Those are the two highlighters. We will do some swatches. Those are the two highlighters. This is the broken one. It is the only one I can get to work for my skin tone, but it is broken. And then the two bronzers are just way too dark for my skin tone. That's what those look like. I think someone with a much deeper complexion could use these a lot better than I can. So I'm just going to get rid of it and hopefully someone else will enjoy it. The next product we have is by It Cosmetics. Now, this is the Bye Bye Pores Translucent Powder. I did not like this powder personally. You open it up, and it is a stark white powder. Um, it just was not for me. I don't tend to reach for stark white powders. This one is very s soft to the touch, but it, it kind of just accentuated the little peach fuzz on my face, and I'll, it just didn't mesh well with a lot of the concealers and foundations I tried it with. Personally, I feel someone who has a more oily complexion will like it a little better than I did because for me, it just dried out my skin and made my skin look very dry and cakey, which I did not like. The next thing is a foundation. This is by You Can Be. This is the Natural Perfection Foundation. This is in shade O2. This is in shade O2 Nude. This shade was just not my shade. It's a little too dark. And this foundation was just not my favorite, to be honest. It was a little too cakey for my skin, and it oxidized. And it just wasn't something I liked for my skin. I have a lot of affordable foundations, and this was just not one of them. Hopefully someone else can get some use out of this, and maybe this will be their shade. The next thing we have is a highlighter by Ciate London. This is the Ciate London Dewy Stick in Glow. Very pretty packaging, but you open it up and it's just this white balm. Like, it doesn't have any shimmer to it, or like any um, color to it. It's just a white balm. It literally looks like Vaseline. Uh, not something I will use. Not anything I need on my skin. Just not for me. Like, I don't want to put Vaseline on my skin. I have no problem using a cream or balm highlighter. I just, this just straight Vaseline though. Vaseline with glitter. Like it's just not worth it in my opinion. Someone else may love it a lot more than I do, but it's just not for me. The next thing we have is from Phase Zero Makeup and it is the Cotton Candy Blusher. I, this blush is just not a shade I would reach for or use. I used it once and that was in a video. Other than that, it's just not a shade I'll use. I tend to go towards much more mauve toned blushes, and this is just a very bright pink. I did have to build it up to get it to look like that, because one swipe is this right here. Like, that is not very pigmented, and it's just not a shade I'd reach for. I don't want it to sit in my collection and go bad when someone else can get use out of it. 
And the last three products are all eye products. The first one is my Ipsy. This is the That's So Betty Eyeshadow Up Past Midnight. Now, when I got this, I thought it was a shade I didn't have, and I swatched it. However, I did get the Ipsy and Betty Boop Eyeshadow Palette in my Glam Bag Plus, and this shade is in there. I did not know that at the time. If I would have known that, I would not have swatched this. But this is a very pretty shade. However, like I just said, I do have it in the eyeshadow palette, so I don't need it in a single. And if I would have known that it was in the eyeshadow palette, I definitely would not have swatched it. The next product is by Loritzy Cosmetics, and this is a liquid beam in Topaz. This is supposed to be an eye uh, pigment that you could just put on your eyes. It's got like a lip gloss applicator. I'm sorry if you hear background noise. My cat is playing with tape right now. It has got a Dofa applicator that is normally used for lip gloss, and I don't care for this applicator, but it's a very long wand and very tiny Dofa, so when you get the product out, this is what it looks like. That is not good for the eyes, and then you try to like, it's showing up much better in camera, but on the eyes, it just does not look that pigmented. It's just like a gloss. There's not very much color to it. It's just not... I like my Stila ones a lot better than this, and this is just not one I will use because I do have Stila, the Stila liquid eyes. These, this one is just not very good in my opinion. If you were to put this all over your eye, that would be really pretty, but for me, I like to use multiple different shadows all over my eye, and I don't typically just go in with a shimmer. So it just did not work for me the way I wanted it to work. Someone else will get some use out of this. You could use this as a highlighter for a deeper skin tone. You could even use it as a lip gloss. Me personally, the way I was going to use it just didn't work for me. And last but not least is by Ace Beauté. And there are two of them. I'm counting them as one because they are the same product, just different shades. These are the Ace Beauté Glimmer Shadows. I have Ice Latte and Cotton Candy. Now, you think these are super, super pretty. Oh my gosh, if these are the shades, it's gorgeous. But... When you open them up and swatch them, like this one is Cotton Candy, super, super pretty pink with a gold shimmer. They remind me a lot of the ColourPop Super Shock shadows, and you think, oh my gosh, that's a gorgeous shade. And that's all it is. Just not, it's mainly a pink shadow. There, You barely see any of the gold glitter. It's very patchy on the eyes, and it wears off very easily not very long lasting honestly they are very expensive for what they are and the ColourPop super shock super shock shadows work a million times better this one is in shade iced latte if i can get it open jeez oh peeps okay and this one is iced latte a pretty brown with a shimmer and again you think oh my gosh it's such a pretty shade but the same thing. It's not as shimmery as it shows in the pan, and it wears off quickly, flakes, and is very patchy. Honestly, I prefer this ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. They are a quarter of the price and a lot better. You guys, that is all. Let me know, do you guys like these short little mini products I'm decluttering videos, or do you prefer just full-out declutters? Let me know down below. I love to hear your thoughts and opinions, but that is all. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe down below. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, three times a week. If three times a week is not enough for you and you want to stay up to date on my life, you can definitely follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter for a little more behind-the-scenes look. But that is all. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye!